Hey there, did you get a harmonica for Christmas and you have no idea what the heck you're supposed to do with it? You have no idea how to play it or touch it or anything? You just get it and you just go... Hey, I've been there. But today, I'm going to teach you how to play one of these things. Alright, now the first thing you need to know about the harmonica is that it has some numbers right here. And you may be able to see this in the video, you may not. It looks pretty clear on the camera. Anyways, you'll notice that you have some numbers right here. And we'll start with one, you'll have two, three, four, and so on. And that just corresponds with the holes on the harmonica. So, you'll have hole number one, which will be your lowest hole. And you'll have hole number two, which will be your second lowest. So the pitch goes from lowest to highest at the number count. So over here at the ten, you'll have your highest pitch. And over here at the one, you'll have your lowest pitch. So, first thing you need to do is you need to look at these numbers and just kind of Get your finger, just kind of get used to where all the holes are. And you know, kind of just get used to holding the harmonica and where the holes are and all that. And I'm actually going to show you how to hold this. So, what you're going to want to do is whenever you're just starting out, the easiest thing to do is okay. So, it's probably going to look the best of the video. But, anyways, what you should do is whenever you first start out, what I did was you're going to want to put your fingers on either side of the hole. So, let's see if I can catch some light. There we go. So, my fingers are covering all the holes, except for the one that I'd be blowing into. So, in this case, I'd be blowing into the six, either inhaling or exhaling, and I'll get to that in a second. So, the kind of thing that you might want to do is get used to having your fingers. Whatever holes that you need, you can kind of move them like this. Now, you may want to be all professional and not actually, you know, you may not want to use your fingers like so. You may want to just blow with your lips. So, if you're going to do that, what you gotta do is you gotta purse your lips a lot. So if you can see these holes, did you see these holes right here? They're very, very small. So you have to get your lips very, very small. So you look kind of like that. But whenever you first starting out, that's really, really hard to keep on top of all this stuff. So you make it really small. You put it over a hole so you get that one note. Because if it's bigger, you'll get two. You can tell when you get two. But your lips either have to be really small, or you can put your fingers over it and work on that eventually. It's much, much better just to start with your fingers on it and work your way up to your lips versus starting out trying to do it with just your lips. All right, now I'm gonna teach you a little bit about how to read the harmonica music and how to blow in the corresponding holes. So, I have some harmonic music here and we will go with this one. So this one right here is leave it on a jet plane and you really can't see that right there. So I'll try to uh, zoom the camera in. So, as you can see there, there's a bunch of numbers. So you'll see that there's a four and a minus four. So, what happens there is you have your four and your minus four and all that. So, what you'll do is you'll take your harmonica and where there's a four, you will actually, woo, I'm not used to this whole camera thing just yet. Where there's a four, you'll blow into it. So just like a regular four, you'll just blow into it. So like I said, put your fingers over all the holes except for the one that you want, and then you blow into it. So, so that's your, you know, your regular four. Now whenever there's a minus, that means inhale. So you'll blow into it, and then you'll inhale, and that'll create a different sound because there are two sounds per harmonic hole. So for four, it'd be, and that'd be the exhale, and then the inhale would be. So you have two very different sounds that you can play out of each hole, so there are 20 holes, but there's actually, or 10 holes, but there's actually 20 sounds. So, what you do is you take your paper, and I'm going to leave a link in the description. I get all this stuff off harptabs.com. It's amazing. You just type in any song you want, and pretty much <clears throat> it's got it. Like, leave it on a jet plane, anything. I'll have it play. But, anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper and you're going to find your numbers. So, it's 4, and then minus 4, then minus 5, then positive 5. So, Say positive, it's, it's like a math thing, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I'm just used to it. So, you'll take your harmonica and you'll find your corresponding letters or numbers, and then you just play whatever it is. So, I mean, it's good to start off slow and then you can get faster, but honestly, harmonica is so easy that you should be able to jump right into it. So, what you'll do, just take it, cover up all the holes, like I said, because it'll be much easier if you start this way, and then you'll blow in for the regular numbers and inhale for the minuses. So, we'll go... And 
And sometimes you will mess up like that. So it's kind of hard because that one right there, it was irregular and then a minus and then irregular. So you will mess up because as you go, you know, from hole to hole, so as you slide around, you'll have one note that you'll be inhaling and the next one you're supposed to exhale. So you'll go, you know, and then whenever you move over, you're still in that inhale and you don't really switch over just exactly then. So that's kind of an issue. And <clears throat> it takes a bit of practice to get, well, even I still have issues with that, but you'll get it eventually. But you know, whenever you slide, it's very difficult when you have to go from, you know, inhaling to exhaling. So if you're inhaling and you slide over here, chances are you're going to carry over to the next one and it'll create the wrong note. <clears throat> so you either like got to stop what you're doing, it's either inhaling or exhaling, and then move over and then do it, which does not flow, or you just got to get really good at that transfer, going halfway over and stopping. So as you, uh, like generally I'm pretty good about it, but I kind of had an issue there. So go over the issue area again, we'll see if we can get it. Because it's kind of, uh, we'll go to the chorus, and um, it's kind of it's kind of hard to go over. So you go to there we go. So you go. So I mean, it's kind of it's kind of difficult. You know, it's not. It's not the easiest, but then again, it's not the hardest. It's definitely the best first instrument to learn. Now, you may say, oh, the harmonica is not an actual instrument, but I mean, some people may say that. I don't know, because you get them for like a dollar at the store and everybody has them. I don't know, but it actually, it's a very good and easy first instrument to learn. And it really, I would highly recommend this being anybody's first instrument before they did anything else. Well, that's just the brand that I have. But you can get these for like two, two three dollars at Walmart. They're very cheap. Then you go to that website that I'm going to leave the link in the description and you download your music. I print mine off. I actually printed mine off on the back of some other paper because I didn't want to waste paper. So we had, we had a skit there and we were done with the skit. So I just took the back of the paper and printed off this song. And they have tons of songs. Like I have, we're over here, but this one's kind of a longer, more entailed, difficult. So I hope you learned something. I hope you can pick this up and play it. It should be pretty easy. I actually started playing this in about five minutes. So hopefully you guys get at that and learn how to play it. And I will see you next Tuesday for another tutorial.